Okay, let's now look at something more complex. So in the settings, you can select, first of all, the platforms that you are creating your keys for. And this is an important source of limitations or readings because you might be creating keys just for iOS platform, Android or web, or for multiple platforms at the same time. So if you are creating keys for several platforms, then you need to check with your developers what are the limitations and requirements for each of these platforms. Since, for example, Android might not like dots being used in the key names, and but it might be perfectly okay for iOS to use dots in the key names. So ideally, you should define the format that would be compatible with all three different platforms if you are designing for all of them at once. And this might also influence the choice of placeholders and variables later on in future, which we will cover at some part in our training series. But let's presume that we do not have big limitations here. And in the plugin, you can select one of the existing key naming patterns that can be used and for key naming generation. And we have some default patterns and we have a possibility not to generate a key name at all. And we have a possibility to create your own key naming pattern. For now, for simplicity, let's quickly look into this pattern. Do not generate key name. And if we do this, and then whenever we select different elements to be pushed to localize, we don't have anything added to the template. And we can add here any key name that we would like to insert. For example, we can type in onboarding dot sign up dot button or anything like that. And we'll be creating just keys for those elements that were pre-selected in the list and that were assigned a certain key name in the field. Those keys that don't have, those elements that don't have any key name specified would be just skipped for the sake of key creation in this exercise. So let's quickly do this. For the sake of simplicity, I would not focus on all of these options for now. I will just create mission keys and send screenshots. It says update or create if not. We don't have anything, so we'll just create screenshots. If you check the status window, then you would be able to see how many keys were created. So we just had one key created and we can do a refresh and we would see this key name be created in localized exactly following the pattern and having two platforms assigned to this specific key. That's in brief about this do not generate name pattern for the rest of templates. There'll be a template pre-filled in for the key names, and this will really make editing keys faster for, for the team. And these patterns, they are taken from the structure of the elements in your elements tree in Figma. So it's usually a combination of artboards, groups, and element names with various types of separators and capitalization. And we'll have also element text, which is basically text inside the element, since there can be a difference between how the element is named and what's the actual text there. So we can start with something very basic just to show how things work. And in the next video, I will show you how exactly the patterns can be used and for which cases. But if you take just the element name, once you 
select elements, you will get exactly same text filled in. But since we chose element name without capitalization and with uh, underscores, then you will see like login this way, password, and basically exactly the same text. If you choose something more complex, like artboard group element name, then once you select elements, you will get more complex structures. So you'll get, for example, for, for this element, here we go, this element by signing up your, your accept our terms and service and privacy policy. And then before that, it has also registration frame artboard. So this is our frame registration that was taken here. And we do not have any group inside, which is why we just skipped the part that is responsible for group naming. If we had a group on top and we can rename it or for simplicity, we just leave it as, as a group. Then once we refresh this field, there is no automatic refresh. So we need to select button one more time you will get an amended pattern. You will get the frame, the outer frame, the group name and the element itself. So this is how you can pre-build the templates for key naming. And oops, this is the default list of the patterns that you can use for, for this exercise. I'll wrap it up and let's look into more practical examples, how to approach this on a continuous basis.